Uh, Chris, give us a highlight of your interview with President Trump, and why do you think he agreed to do this interview with you? You've been asking for a couple of years now. I was going to say, uh, I had asked for a, a lot of time. I don't know that this moment was particularly written in stone. It turned out to be a good time because there's a lot of news out there about the C reaction to the CNN ruling, uh, the, the fact that he's about to offer his written answers to some questions for the special counsel, the controversy over Robert Mueller, the Khashoggi tip. We get into all of that. We were supposed to have 25 minutes with the president. We had more like an hour, most of it in the Roosevelt room. But then we went into the Oval Office to talk. Uh, I have to say he was in good spirits. Uh, he, I asked him a lot of pointed questions. This is not a, a softball friendly interview. And he took it in, in good stride, a total professional. All right, we'll look forward to seeing it. Now, the president said this afternoon he has written the answers to Mueller's questions. Uh, Rudy Giuliani says some of them are more legally problematic than others. What do you suppose he means by that? I don't have a clue. I wish he'd said that before I sat for the, for the interview. Uh, I, I don't know what that means. Uh, the president acted as if this was no big deal at all. He said, I wrote out the answers. I said, your lawyers are going to submit answers. And he immediately bridled at that and said, no, I wrote the answers. They edited it and we went over it. But uh, I, I gave all the answers myself and there are no problems here because he said I did nothing wrong. So I don't know what the former mayor of New York is talking about. All right. Now, it seems there's a method to the president's tweets. And he has once again called Mueller conflicted, uh, questioning his integrity, calling this investigation a witch hunt. What, what's he trying to accomplish with these tweets, do you think? Well, I think he feels, and, and, you know, I talk about one of the tweets in one of them, I think it was yesterday, he said, called him Bob Mueller and his gang of Democrat thugs. And you, why? Because he says that there's nothing here and that they're, they're very conflicted, He's, you know, that there are a lot of pro-Democrat people. Uh, but, but, but he basically is saying that they have been investigating. He says, look, he said, how long have they been investigating me? And I said, well, the special counsel started in May of 2017. He said, no, no, how long have they been investigating me? And I went, well, July of 2016, which is true. And he said, he, he said from the moment I came down that escalator, uh, it, it, to announce my candidacy in, in June of 2015, he said they've been investigating me, and it was they, meaning people in the Justice Department, in the Democratic administration, and he said it was an insurance policy in case Hillary Clinton couldn't win. So he feels that he has been the victim uh, of a, a real persecution, uh, and obviously as we get closer to the end point here, uh, he's doing everything he can to uh, undermine Robert Mueller's credibility and the credibility of the investigation. Right. The president's lawyers have said that the president can ban all reporters from the White House if he wants to. Uh, but a, a federal judge appointed by the president himself at least uh, disagreed with respect on a temporary basis to uh, the Jim Acosta situation. Yeah, it was interesting. I asked the president ab uh, about that. In fact, this was his first reaction uh, to, to the ruling by the judge. And he was trying to minimize it. He, you know, he was saying this is a very minor issue. He said basically the judge said, and, and this is true, that there's got to be due process. There have got to be some rules. So he said, so we will write some rules and say this is what you're allowed to do in terms of, and he, and he didn't say it in terms of, you know, being critical of me or not. He said in terms of the decorum. And he was speaking specifically about Acosta. You know, if you, if you grandstand, if you do certain things, uh, at a news conference, then we're going to have the right to kick you out. Uh, and he said, if that doesn't pass muster, then I'll just leave. When somebody acts up, I'll just get, end the news conference. And then he said all of the reporter, Acosta or whomever it is, uh, will be mad at that person for ending the news conference prematurely. All right. One last question, if you don't mind. Uh, the blue wave seems to have more amplitude this week than it did last week. What will that mean for the new Congress, do you think? And, and will Nancy Pelosi be the new Speaker of the House? Well, on the first question, I asked the president that. Uh, I said, look, uh, in 2006, uh, when Democrats picked up 30 seats in the House, George W. Bush, Bush 43, called it a shellacking. It looks like you may lose 40 seats in the House, and you say it's a total victory. And he goes on to a big argument about, well, we won the Senate, and there's more I can, can get done in the Senate than, than in the House, because it, that, they confirm all of the appointments to the, the bench or other positions. Uh, in, ter he, in terms of dealing with the new Democratic House, I, I think he feels that, in fact, there's a, po and again, maybe this is just putting the best spin on it, that there's a possibility 
from word getting done that the Democrats were able as the minority to sit back in opposition with their arms crossed. Now we said they're going to need to show they can govern. Maybe they come up with some proposals and then between the House, the Senate and he, the president, they can get things done. As far as Pelosi, we didn't get into that. But, you know, if you read the tea leaves in Washington right now, it's not a sure thing she's going to be the speaker. All right. Well, I, for one, look forward to hearing your pointed questions to the president and his answers on Fox News Sunday this I, week. I was going to say, Russ, you usually ask me at this point, and who are your guests on Fox News Sunday? <laughs> you know who I my guest is on Fox that, News Sunday. we've established that, haven't we? Exactly. Uh, can't, can't wait. Chris, thanks very much. Thank you, Russ. Take care.